Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a horror slasher film, Pearl. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie transpires during the influenza pandemic around the world in 1918. A Texan star aspirant, Pearl, imagines herself performing a dance on stage while wearing her mother's dress. However, her daydreaming ends abruptly when the mother barges into her room, lecturing her for using her clothes unpermitted and shortly instructs her to do farm chores. Pearl wears an overall first before going to the barn to feed their animals. A goose unexpectedly appears in the barn, and Pearl kills the goose with a pitchfork. She then brings the dead goose to a nearby lake so she can feed it to her pet alligator. At night, while Pearl and her mother prepare supper, the mother lectures her to focus on chores instead of foolish fantasies. She then instructs Pearl to fetch her paralyzed father in the bedroom. Soon, it's time for their supper, but Pearl needs to set aside her meal first because she's tasked to feed her father. After supper, Pearl reads a letter from her soldier husband, who is the landlord in the first episode and participating in the First World War. She administers a spoonful of medicine syrup to her father before bathing herself in the tub. While washing her dirty body, she fantasizes about being a leading star in movies one day. The mother enters the bathroom to remind Pearl to wear a mask first before going to town tomorrow to buy medicine for her father. The next day, Pearl goes to town to buy the medicine. She stops by the cinema to watch a dance performance on screen. During the show, she takes a gulp from the medicine. The show ends, and Pearl libels in an alley to muse over the movie poster. Just then, the movie house's projectionist exits through the back door to smoke. He sees Pearl and exchanges greetings with her. They discuss Pearl's dream to be a star, but since she's stuck at home to take care of her sick father and the farm while waiting for her husband's return from the war, her dream is somehow unattainable. The projectionist admires Pearl for helping her family, but he reminds her to live for herself too. Before Pearl leaves, he cuts one frame from the movie earlier showing the dance scene, giving it to Pearl as a gift. Afterward, Pearl travels back home, but the cutout frame flies away from her pocket due to the wind. She stops to search for the cutout frame that flew to the cornfield, but it's obviously impossible to find it in a vast field. She arrives at the center field, where she shows interest in the scarecrow. She innocently dances first with the scarecrow, but things become weirder when she straddles on top of the scarecrow and starts humping it. She imagines the projectionist as the scarecrow, grinding continuously to pleasure herself. Pearl finally goes home, wearing a top hat she got from the scarecrow, but her mother is unhappy that she's late. Pearl just gives an excuse that the trip was long. She then tells Pearl to wash her hair after seeing the dirty top hat on her head. Pearl then goes inside to wash her dirty body in the tub, and in front of her is her quiet father. She can't help but wonder if her father is still alive, so she pinches his finger, drags her finger on his face, and then tightly grabs his neck. Afterward, Pearl goes to eat supper with her parents. The mother confronts Pearl about the missing change from the medicine, and Pearl lies that she bought a candy on her way home. The mother begins to lecture her. She wants Pearl to be careful with money, because the world is suffering from a pandemic, and they must live modestly if they want to survive. Moreover, the mother forces Pearl to take responsibility in life, and not in her little fantasy. Pearl goes to bed afterward, praying to the Lord to make her the biggest star. The following day, Pearl's mother-in-law and sister-in-law arrive at the farm to visit them. The mother-in-law gives a cooked pig to Pierre's mother as a gift, but she refuses to accept charity, so the mother-in-law simply places the pig on the porch. Meanwhile, sister-in-law goes to the barn to inform Pearl about the dance audition on Saturday at the local church. The church needs a new member to complete a troupe that would go on a Christmas concert tour in seven cities. Pearl wants to try out too, because it's a chance to show her talent. Afterward, Pearl sneaks into her mother's bedroom to steal a maroon dress in her closet. After hiding from her mother, she runs to her bedroom and tries the outfit on herself, matching it with a top hat. At night, Pearl sneaks out of the house to visit the projectionist in the picture house. She admits she's nervous about the audition, but the projectionist encourages her to reach for her dreams, regardless of what other people say to her. Afterward, the projectionist plays an illegal film on the screen, showing three people engaging in a threesome hormone game. He believes such genres shall spread and become famous in the world one day. The projectionist then advises her to pursue her dreams, but Pearl knows she's stuck with her parents at home. He tells her to live life while she's young, otherwise she's going to resent not trying in the future. Pearl blurts out an early death wish to her parents, so she would be free from their existence. The projectionist pauses to absorb what she just said, but Pearl nonchalantly brushes it off, like it's nothing serious. Since Pearl wants to be a star, the projectionist promises to take her to Europe after the pandemic, since their art is livelier than anywhere else. 
Before Pearl leaves, she acknowledges his effort to keep her company that night. The following day, Pearl attempts to feed her father to the alligator, but her plan fails because the mother unexpectedly shows up behind them. While the mother grabs the father off the dock, Pearl asks why she hates her, and her mother answers she only does what's best for the family. Furthermore, the mother explains life is unfair and plans don't always happen, which is better to know early you be happy and avoid disappointment in the future. After that, Pearl takes interest in the alligator. She discovers its eggs and decides to bring one into the barn. She then crushes the egg with a bare hand, imagining it's her husband's egg that just explodes. At night, a storm rages outside. The mother confronts Pearl about the movie poster found in her bedroom, and since Pearl mingled with other people a couple of days ago, she must isolate herself in the bunker house to determine if she caught the flu or the COVID-19. Pearl resists and mentions she's going to attend the dance audition tomorrow at the church. She explains she wants to try, regardless of the results, so she wouldn't regret not trying in the future. She also aspires to be more than just a farmer stuck in the rural area. Overall, Pearl also wants her mother to believe in her. Unfortunately, the mother perceives Pearl's dream as an insult and smelly bullshit. She only sees Pearl as ungrateful and arrogant, who belittles their humble lifestyle. She shouts at Pearl for invalidating the sacrifice that they had committed just to survive every day. The mother is mad because Pearl is selfish enough to perceive her father as a burden and hindrance from her dreams. The father got sick because of the flu, and Pearl doesn't even reconsider their family's situation as a result of the pandemic. The mother is aware that Pearl is sick in mind, who commits sinful acts in private, and soon this sickness would fester to the point where people would fear her. The mother suddenly grabs a knife and sticks it near the father, threatening to kill him since it's Pearl's deepest desire in the first place. Pearl then clarifies she never wants to harm anyone. The mother knows Pearl's a liar, so she approaches her and slaps her face hard. Pearl then shouts at her mother, confessing her hatred towards her. Soon, the mother and daughter spar until the mother's clothes catch fire, after Pearl pins her to the fireplace. Pearl pushes her mother to the floor, watching the fire engulf her for a moment, before grabbing the pot of soup to extinguish the flame. The fire dozes down, and the mother can barely move anymore, due to the burns on her body. The father in his wheelchair witnesses such horrifying murder in front of him, but he can't do anything. Pearl then grabs her mother by foot, flops her down to the cellar, and abandons her there. Afterward, she goes to town to visit the projectionist. Soon, Pearl and the projectionist wrestle their muscles in bed. The next day, Pearl has a nightmare, where she sees her family watching her performance on stage, but her husband was there and not at war, her father was healthy, and her mother had a wound on her jaw. She then wakes up. The projectionist then offers to drive Pearl home, because the audition is about to start in the next couple of hours. At the farmhouse, Pearl goes to the dining area to retrieve and bring her paralyzed father to the bedroom. Then, she makes him drink medicine, since she forgot to give him one last night. On the porch, the projectionist sees the pig is halfway infested by maggots. Just then, Pearl calls him to enter the house, so she can introduce him to her father. Afterward, Pearl does a smelly workout with the projectionist, but he turns cold around her because she's only focusing on their hormone noise, but ignoring the noise he keeps hearing from downstairs. He then goes into the dining room, finding the whole table a mess. Pearl follows him to explain that their dog caused the mess, so she locks the dog in the cellar. Pearl then brings the projectionist to the barn to introduce their animals, but when he finally asks about the dog's name, Pearl admits they don't have a dog. Pearl's story doesn't align anymore, which makes the projectionist cold and scared of her, because he doesn't know which is true anymore. Pearl then shouts at him for breaking his promise to take her away, since he's starting to avoid her. Nevertheless, the projectionist still leaves her alone, which provokes her to do something murderous. Nobody leaves Pearl, so she shouts curses at the projectionist, while stabbing him repeatedly until he dies. Afterward, Pearl returns inside the house, only to see her mother manage to climb near the cellar door. However, Pearl still kicks her off the passageway onto the ground. Next, she bathes her father and changes his clothes into a suit. Afterward, she wears her mother's daring red dress for the audition, with a matching suitcase, because she believes she's going to take the spot in the church troupe. Pearl then returns to her father. She apologizes first, before suffocating him to death with a pillowcase. Before she leaves, she feeds her pet alligator in the lake with the projectionist's body. Soon, Pearl travels to church and sits beside her sister-in-law, who saved a seat for her. While they wait for their turns, sister-in-law can't help but feel nervous, whereas Pearl sits quietly, manifesting she's going to win. They're finally up next to the stage. Pearl shortly takes the stage and performs a dance routine with all her best. However, her dreams shatter quickly when the judges say no to her. 
the judges happen to look for a new member that embodies the typical American, blonde, young girl, which is nothing similar to Pearl. Pearl unexpectedly breaks down like a child because she failed to win the spot. The host even needs to drag her outside just to give space for the next candidates. Pearl continues crying on the staircase, and sister-in-law shows up to comfort her. They arrive at their farmhouse, but she sees the pig they gave long ago is now Magothy on the porch. The pig represents Pearl's entire individuality. Pearl was a sweet young dreamer in the beginning, but throughout the days of suffering from neglect and restriction, she turned into a putrescent malicious murderer. Sister-in-law comforts Pearl in the dining room, but Pearl isn't okay because she's been keeping unspoken feelings for days and she has no one to talk to. Sister-in-law then suggests she's going to pretend like Pearl's husband to help Pearl open up and release her thoughts. Pearl then accepts her suggestion, so she confesses her thoughts to her. She first admits that she cheated on her husband because he's still in a war field. Second, she hates him for abandoning his luxurious life just to live the farm life. Third, she envies his beautiful life while she suffers in poverty alone and is scared from the struggles of life. Fourth, she feels happy and relieved when she miscarried their first supposed child. Lastly, she feels guilty and regret after murdering her parents and the projectionist. Pearl ends her speech with a promise to attain redemption for all the sins she committed. She's willing to love, forgive, and be a good wife just to bring back the home that her husband wants once he returns from war. However, sister-in-law is speechless and stunned because of Pearl's confession. She is obviously frightened of Pearl, so she tries to leave the farmhouse, but Pearl confronts her on the spot. Pearl knows sister-in-law got the spot in the troop because she matches their qualifications. Sister-in-law eventually admits she got the role. However, behind the sweet smile Pearl displays, sister-in-law's triumphant success leaves a bitter taste to Pearl. Pearl is jealous of her because she's rich enough to get anything she wants. Unfortunately, the mother already foreshadowed Pearl's future, where people would fear her once they learn her true nature. Sister-in-law leaves the house, and Pearl follows her outside. Suddenly, Pearl grabs the axe and begins to chase after her. Sister-in-law nearly escapes from Pearl, but she unexpectedly trips over a poggle, giving Pearl an opening to strike her from behind. Sister-in-law stumbles onto the ground as blood gushes out from her back. She promises not to tell anyone the truth as long as she spare her life, but Pearl doesn't care anymore, so she kills her in the end. The movie ends with Pearl chopping her sister-in-law to pieces, so she can feed her body parts to the alligator. Afterward, she goes home to bring her parents' corpses to the dining table, where Scraps and the Maggoty Pig lie on the top. Pearl prepares a welcome feast for her husband, so they can start a new chapter as a loving happy family. The next day, Pearl's husband comes home sooner than expected. He enters the farmhouse excitedly, but his excitement turns grim upon seeing his parents-in-law are dead and still sitting around the table. Pearl welcomes her husband home. She then forms an exaggerated grin gradually widening until tears start to roll down her cheeks, enduring the agony inflicted by her forced fox smile. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.